you want something done properly, then you better do it yourself. If you have ever heard this, then you may have experienced how frustrating it can be if someone doesn't perform properly or get their work done. But do you think that this means all employees are lazy, foolish and incompetent? Or is there something deeper going on? One of the biggest mistakes managers or leaders make is to use the same leadership style with all of their employees at all times. But this creates huge problems. In my first professional role, I was placed in an IT department. I was logged into the system and told that the best place to learn was to be thrown in the deep end and to just figure it out. So I fumbled and stumbled and often took forever to figure things out. Should you really throw someone into the deep end? Make them sink or swim? This is really unfair for a new employee who has no experience in a particular area and who has limited knowledge or confidence. Wouldn't it be more helpful for everyone to give very clear instructions or direction? I ended up sitting next to someone who would talk through a topic. I would write down detailed notes, go and attempt the same work, then come back for immediate feedback. They ended up being surprised at how quickly I learned. I explained that it was much easier to learn something when someone showed you what was expected and how to do it in a step-by-step -step manner. To be an effective leader, you should be able to select the right style for the right person and the right situation. Directing, coaching, supporting and delegating are the four main choices you have available. I have mentioned directing already. Close supervision, specific instructions and detailed feedback, which are critical for when someone is still learning a role. However, this is a disaster once someone gets better and wants more autonomy and freedom. You need to move towards coaching, which still involves clear and direct instructions, but also provides for some interaction and collaboration. Once an employee is comfortable and familiar in a role, they will benefit more from a supporting style where they're expected to be part of the decision-making aspects, as well as the actual work being performed. Total freedom via delegation should only be given once someone is completely capable of performing the work without supervision. If you use this style too early, people will flounder, make terrible mistakes and lose their confidence. To recap, only a poor workman blames their tools and a leader should not blame their followers for poor outcomes if the leader has failed to use the right type of leadership. You cannot just have one style. Directing, coaching, supporting or delegating. You need to map the right approach to the situation each time.